Avic tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Avic. Avic is a cloud-based network management software that gives you instant insight and automation for your networks. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Avic, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start for Free button. This action will redirect you to the registration page where you can create your new account. On the registration page, you will be prompted to provide some essential information. Enter your first name, last name, business email address, company name, and phone number. Additionally, you'll need to select your role within the company. Enter the number of employees in your organization and choose the appropriate revision or version of the product that suits your needs. It's also important to enter the desired URL for your account, which will be associated with your company. To secure your account, it's vital to select a strong and unique password. Once all the required information is filled out, proceed by clicking on the Start Trial Now button to initiate your free trial of Avic. Upon clicking the button, you will be directed to the setup page where you can customize your account and configure it to meet your specific requirements. If you prefer to skip this step for now, you can simply click on the Exit Setup Guide option, which will lead you directly to your account dashboard. Once you access your account dashboard, you will notice that it features a left menu that serves as a central navigation hub. This left menu contains various tabs, each catering to specific functionalities and features. At the top of the left menu, you'll find your organization's name and logo. Customizing these details is simple. Just click on the logo and you'll be presented with options in the main canvas of the dashboard, allowing you to personalize your organization's information, including its name, URL, logo, and other relevant details. The left menu is thoughtfully divided into three main sections, each serving distinct purposes, navigation, admin, and support. Under the Navigation section, you'll find essential tabs such as the Home Dashboard, where you can get an overview of your network's current status and key metrics. The Inventory tab offers a comprehensive view of all devices and assets within your network, while the All Alerts tab displays a list of alerts and notifications pertinent to your network's health. Additionally, you can explore the Hardware Lifecycle tab to effectively manage the lifecycle of your network hardware. For troubleshooting and resolving network issues, the Debug tab becomes an invaluable tool. The Documentation tab provides access to a wealth of documentation and resources related to Avic, further enhancing your understanding and usage of the platform. Additionally, you can utilize the Traffic Insights and Syslog tabs for further network analysis and management. Within the Admin section of the left menu, you'll discover several management-oriented tabs. The Discovery tab helps you configure and manage network discovery settings, while the Integrations tab allows you to integrate Avic with other systems and tools, enhancing your workflow and data utilization. To stay on top of alerts and notifications, you can manage them through the Manage Alerts tab. Proper user management is facilitated by the Manage Users tab where you can control access and permissions for different team members. The Avic Collectors tab allows you to handle data collection in your network effectively. And finally, the Settings tab enables you to fine-tune various Avic configurations to suit your specific needs. Lastly, the Support section in the left menu offers convenient access to important resources. Under the Knowledge Base tab, you can find helpful articles and guides to assist you with any queries or issues. The Resource Center tab serves as a hub for additional materials and support, empowering you with the knowledge necessary for smooth and effective network management. To manage your personal account, you can navigate to the Account section. Within this section, you have the option to update your profile details, including your name, phone number, and email address. Moreover, for enhanced security, you can set up two-factor authentication, adding an extra layer of protection to your account. If you ever wish to change your password, you can easily do so within this section, ensuring the utmost security for your Avic account. Now, let's see how to install Avic Collectors. You can easily install the Avic Collectors on your network. This collector serves as a crucial piece of code, utilizing various protocols to gather essential information about your network, including topology details, configurations, and network statistics. To initiate the installation process, navigate to the left menu and locate the Avic Collectors option under the Admin section. Clicking on this option will take you to the Avic Collectors page. Here you will find an Add Avic Collector button. Click on it to proceed with the installation. Upon clicking the button, a pop-up window will appear, presenting you with three installation options. 
The first option is to install the collector on a Windows device. The second option allows you to set up the collector as a virtual appliance on VMware. Lastly, the third option enables you to create a new virtual or physical machine specifically dedicated to running the AVIC collector. For this tutorial, we will select the first option, Install Collector on a Windows Device. Once you click, this option will expand it, revealing additional steps. Here, you should proceed by clicking on the Download Windows Installer button. By doing so, the AVIC installer setup will start downloading. Please note that the download process may take a while, depending on your internet connection speed. Once you have successfully downloaded the AVIC installer, proceed by clicking on it to start the installation process. The installation of AVIC involves three main steps, each essential for setting up the software on your system. The first step in the installation process is titled Connect to AVIC. Here you will need to authenticate your connection by providing certain information. First, enter the email address associated with your AVIC account into the AVIC installer. Next, you'll need to input the API key to establish the connection. To find the API key, go to your AVIC account through your preferred web browser. Within the account dashboard, look for the account option located at the bottom of the left menu. Click on this and it will take you to the account settings. Once there, find the API key section and click on the Generate button to create a new API key. A new window will appear, displaying the generated API key. Copy the API key from this window and click on the Save button to store it. Now return to the AVIC installer and paste the API key you copied earlier into the designated field. Additionally, you can copy the domain prefix from the API section where you found the API key. Once you have copied the domain prefix, navigate back to the AVIC installer window and paste it into the field labeled Site This Collector Is On. This setup ensures that the collector is correctly connected to your AVIC account and ready to gather the necessary network data. After completing the authentication process, click on the Authenticate button to finalize and authenticate the connection between the AVIC installer and your AVIC account. Once the connection is successfully authenticated, you will notice a green checkmark indicating that the connection to AVIC has been established. With the authentication completed, proceed to the second step, labeled Choose Folder. In this step, you have the option to select the installation folder for AVIC. You can either keep the default installation folder, which is typically located at C colon backslash AVIC, or choose a different folder that better suits your preferences. Once you have made your selection, click on the Confirm button to proceed. Upon clicking Confirm, you will be taken to the final step of the installation process, where the actual installation of AVIC will take place. The AVIC collector will be downloaded and installed on your system. Once the installation is complete, you will receive a message stating Collector installed successfully. At this point, the installation process is finished, and you can click on the Finish button to close the installer. With the AVIC collector successfully installed, you now have the necessary tools to manage your networks effectively. Through AVIC's robust features and network monitoring capabilities, you can gain valuable insights into your network's performance, identify potential issues, and streamline your network management tasks. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using AVIC. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.